Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum sala. I hope everybody is well. So we go with part three, I believe, of this little Halloween session we're having over here. Just having some fun and helping you out. And anyway, enough talking, let's get to the point. So now in this part of the segment of the of the third part, instead of doing lamps, which we're gonna do more lamps throughout the month and more powders and whatever the case may be, but let's talk about sight. If you can't see, you don't know where you're going. What is sight? Sight is anything and everything. There's sight or, uh, yeah, spiritual sight. Uh, there's people that feel, hear, see, dream, um, and many other weird situations, but those are the main ones that's there. And people have a problem trying to communicate with their guardian angel, their guardian uh, spiritual guides, or the impulgos, whatever the case may be. Now, the way I'm showing you now, it's a way that a non-initiate could do. Somebody that don't need initiation to get this done, and somebody that don't have to go pay somebody else with something you could do simple at home. They just don't want to tell you these things because they want this. I love you guys, so I'm gonna show you a secret. Come over here. Over here, we have just plain water. You could use a clay vase. In this case, this is a coconut that has tiles in it. Um, but you could use a clay vase. I mean, a, yeah, a clay dish or a glass cup. A hikara even better if you have. And put it with cool water, clean. Make sure it's clean. And in the front of your altar, you know, grab a piece of cacaria. Cacaria, efu. And you're gonna make a cross, right? The reason you're putting that cross there of Kakaria is for purity, protection of your sacred altar, your shrine, your zone, your element. And it represents the cross, life and death. Yeah, life and death and the crossroads. So you're gonna put this here and you're gonna get yourself seven leaves, seven bay leaves, siete hoja de laurel. Now in my case, I will use Lauren India, uh, the Indian bay leaf, but this is the one that you find out there still could be used for it. A lot of people in other traditions use this one strictly and I prefer the Indian one. So we have here, one, two, three, four, five, I'm doing this and all my hairs are already standing up. I don't know if you can see it on the video. All my hairs are standing up because this is already activated. Six and seven. You grab two stick candles. In this case, I don't have two stick candles, so I have two scented white candles. You put it here. In my case, I will go to Osain or to the Kindembo, whatever the case may be. But you could go to your shrine and whatever deity you have there, your kini. If you have your kini, your kini there. Bang. Alright? Okay, he's acting up now. This is my own personal kini. He's always all over the place. Alright. Well, whatever deity or your guardian, the pungo or spiritual guide, y'all get the point by now. So you are going to leave it like this from early in the morning. You're going to wait till 12 midnight. At 12 midnight, you're gonna grab your two fingers. You're gonna dip it in the water. You see, I'm dipping in the water. If I, you, yeah, see that nothing happens. It's safe. One cross. Again. Two cross. Three cross. Four cross. Five cross. Six cross. Seven. Now, of course, while you're doing this, you're not gonna be talking like I'm doing right now. I'm just showing you how it goes. So while you're doing this, starting from the very first one to the very end, you're gonna ask for you can see your enemies dead and alive, see what's coming towards you, what's behind you, and feel your energy connecting to the point that you feel all your hair standing up. And that's when you know you got into the point of your life of spirituality where you're connected one with them. Uh, I'm better than nobody. I ain't no better than nobody, but I've been in this since I was a kid. Just going to an entity or a certain thing, I put my hand next to it or, or call upon whatever, everything, even the hair, everything gets up. Uh, no, no, no funny jokes, but I'm talking about the hairs, okay? 
um, and this is very important. And you could use this, leave the same one, and use it for seven nights. Um, that's basically it. You, ha you have to have spiritual sight. This is the way you're gonna know if you're going to a person to actually get initiated, they true, they're not. Or if you're gonna go date a person and you just met them, you wanna know if they're true or not. So you want the spirits to give you that that, that little break or, or sense to know if it's good or bad and anything in life, even going into a contract of business, uh, buying a house, so simple as that into and all the way as complicated into seeing your enemies, your spiritual enemies and more. Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. Talk to you soon. Part four coming up.